Hey, hometown church. This is Lewis. Good to see you. So earlier this week, I read a verse in Galatians 4 that really spoke to me and caused me to kind of reevaluate my quiet time. So I'm going to share that verse with you, and then I'm going to give a little thought. And then I'm going to ask a couple questions for you to just kind of think about throughout the week, maybe. So here's the verse. Galatians 4, 6. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. So in this verse, it talks about slaves and sons. And it just got me thinking now, slaves and sons. Now those people have different relationships with the father of the house. Because a slave shows up to the house and only thinks, all right, what do I got to do? What do I got to get done? Whereas a child shows up and just thinks, Daddy, my father. And a slave is focused on the task, getting the task done. Whereas the child is just focused on, Daddy. And the slave is afraid that they're going to get the task wrong or they're going to do something wrong or that they're not going to get it done just right or in the right amount of time. But the child is focused on, you guessed it, their daddy. And this verse is saying that God has given us the spirit of Jesus to be like sons, to be like his children, not like slaves. So here's the qu first question for you. When you approach your quiet time, are you approaching it with the mindset of a slave focused on getting the task done? Or are you approaching it with the mindset of a child where you're thinking about your father and spending time with your father? That was the first question. Here's the second one, and this one's a little more personal. That Bible study that you use, or that calendar, or that, uh, that prayer list, the, the, the tool, whatever tool you use to regiment your quiet time, is it helping you connect with your father more and be closer to him? Or is it just helping you get more done? And you're the only one in the world that can really answer this question for yourself. No one can answer it but you. I know that in my life, my quiet times have taken all forms, whatever I felt like I needed to do to connect to my father. I can think of times where I didn't read the Bible at all. I just prayed or I just sang because that's what I needed to do. And I can think of a couple years ago where I just read the book of Ephesians. I read it like five or six times, just right in a row, nice and slow too, because I felt like that's what I had to do to connect my father and I loved it. So, I'm hoping that the next time you have your quiet time, or your, your time with the Lord, that you, you think of this prayer and that you bring this before God and you say, Lord, in what ways am I taking the mindset of a slave and thinking just about the task to get done? And in what ways can I take on the mindset of a child where I can have faith like a child and love you with my whole heart?